In this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve your microphone quality in OBS Studio. So let's jump straight into the guide. And the first thing we'll need to do is launch up OBS Studio. And the first thing we're going to do is come over to this settings tab at the bottom down here. Head over to the audio section from the left hand side. And first things first, just make sure you have your microphone selected as the default input device here. As you can see, I've got my Yeti microphone over here. And then for the desktop audio, you can either set that to your headphones or your laptop speakers depending on where you want the sound to be coming out from. Then once we've changed these settings, we can just go ahead and press apply and OK. And the first thing you'll see down here inside of the audio mixer is your microphone here at the bottom. And you can see as I talk, the levels here are changing. So the very first thing that I'd recommend adjusting is this volume slider at the bottom down here. Now by default, this will be turned up to 100%. But the problem is if you have this at 100, it can kind of distort your voice and just make it sound less clear in general. So what I'd recommend doing is turning this down to around about 90%. Once you've done that, we're then going to apply some filters to our microphone to improve the sound quality even further. So what you need to do is head over to these three vertical dots here, and then you need to come into filters. So as you can see, I don't currently have any filters applied to my microphone. So what we need to do is come over to this plus symbol in the bottom left here. And the first thing we're going to be adding is this compressor filter over here. So click on OK. And the first thing we need to change is this radio setting over here. So we're going to reduce this to around about four. The threshold, we're going to turn this up right to maximum. Attack is currently set to six. We're going to change this to two. Release, you want to set this to around about 100. And output gain, we're going to leave this at zero. Now, what you need to do is just resize this window so we can see both the settings over here and also our microphone levels down here. So what you need to do is you need to talk into your microphone as quietly as you possibly can or as quietly as you're ever going to talk into your microphone so perhaps you can even move your mouth away slightly further from your microphone and then as you do this you want to increase the output gain over here now when we're talking ideally we want this to be in the orange numbers over here as you can see now that I'm talking quietly we're currently hitting around about this orange bar range which is exactly where we want it to be and now we're going to do the exact same thing but this time you're going to talk as loud as you're possibly going to talk into your microphone and as we do this we want to reduce the threshold to make sure we're not hitting this red bar over here so for me i don't need to make many adjustments to this but for you you might need to make slightly more but like i said the ideal range for this is you want to be somewhere between this minus 20 to minus 10 range make sure that it's not hitting the red bar at the top over here and also make sure that it's not too quiet at the same time so once we've done that we're then going to add a second filter and this time we're going to add a limiter now what the limiter is going to do is it's basically going to stop us from reaching a certain threshold so if you accidentally went too close to your microphone and tried talking right into the very middle of it, then this is going to stop those random loud noises from appearing. So for this number up here, I'd recommend setting this to minus three and that should do the trick there. And now this last filter we're going to add is optional. It's really for people that have a lot of background noise. If you're in a louder room or you can hear neighbors or cars from your street, then what you want to do is come over to this add sign and this time we're going to add noise gate. Now, like I said, this is basically for reducing background noise. And then what you need to do is you'll need to adjust these two levels at the top here until you basically get to a point where it's reduced any background noise. But obviously you don't want to adjust these too much to the point where it's actually reducing your voice as well. So just play around with these until you find the right numbers for you. And then we can close out of this window. And the last thing that I'd recommend doing is just adjusting your microphone actually in person to about four to six inches away from your face. Another thing is make sure you're actually talking into the right end of of your microphone. Now every microphone's different. Sometimes you talk into the side of the microphones, other times you talk into the top of the microphones. You'll need to do some research into your own microphone and find out exactly where it is that you're supposed to be speaking into as this can make a massive difference alone. And by applying all of these steps in this video, that should have now improved your sound quality in OBS Studio. If this video did help you, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.